Claude 4 has been out for a couple of days and I've been using it for my SEO and it's given me better SEO advice than most professionals out there. Annoyingly at times, even better than my own advice. In this video, I'm gonna give you five very useful and practical prompts you can use with Claude for today to help you with your SEO, get you more organic traffic and increase the leads to your business. At the end of this video, I'm also gonna to touch on the downfalls of Claude Sonnet 4 to help you decide whether it's worth you switching over to this model completely from Anthropic. By the way, all the prompts that I touch on today will be for free in the video description below. Let's get stuck with number one, and that is a prompt that will turn Claude Sonnet 4 into an incredible SEO competitor analysis. This is one of the easiest way to create a really successful SEO strategy. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, you just need to look at what your competitors are doing and do it a little bit better. More importantly, if you can, you need to find their content gaps, meaning the things that they haven't touched on, which you might be potentially able to do and therefore rank higher. By the end, you're gonna get a competitor comparison table. You're also gonna get a critical content gaps. These are the gaps that I was talking about that you can try and rank for, even a priority action plan, meaning what you need to do and when. If you click on the description below, it's gonna take you to this page here where you have all the prompts that we're gonna be touching on today. By clicking on the competitor analysis one, it's gonna take you to the prompt which you need to copy and paste. Now, there's a couple of things here to keep in mind. If it's in, highlighted in yellow, you really need to place that information in there. If it's in green, it's optional. So I'm going to copy the entire thing, remembering that I need to place in the URL because we need to give it, give it context. We're going to go here. We're going to start a new chat with Claude. We're going to hit paste the prompt and where I needed to place the your whole URL. I'm going to place the website that we're going to do this for at the moment, which is Financial Advisor Pro. Going back to Claude, pasting it there. You need to make sure that you have some sort of paying plan with Claude to be able to do this because you need to have the web search functionality that doesn't come with the free option, which is a bit annoying. So I'm gonna hit enter once I've got all of those components correctly. I'm gonna give Claude a while. It's gonna search for who are my top competitors, meaning who's ranking for the search engine results page on an organic component for the same similar keywords. Once I give Claude enough time to think about this, it gives me a comparison table. And like I said before, the critical content gaps. In this instance, it, they're quite good ones because I know that this business does financial advising in Arizona. And it's even, yeah, competitors consistently cover these topics that Financial Advisor Pro lacks. Retirement planning guides, tax smarting investment content, Perfect, so it's even giving me priority plans and all of which I kind of really agree with, specifically this one, build a 10 city specific pages starting with major markets, Phoenix, Tuscan and Mesa, for example, it even gives you a template of the page title city. So let's say Phoenix, financial advisor, local investment and retirement planning, things that this website is missing. So number one is already done, it is fantastic. Number two is getting it to write you an incredible blog post that is going to get you more organic traffic. Now this blog post isn't just very simple, but it's got a lot of SEO components done correctly, like external linking, making, meaning backing up your statements, which is a non-negotiable for an industry such as financial advising. This falls under your money, your life, meaning that if you write about something that's gonna impact somebody's finances or health, you need to have a couple of these things spot on. Otherwise, you're simply not going to rank because Google's not gonna trust you. One of those things is making sure you back up the statement that you are making. In this instance, for example, it's saying, according to the IRS, this process allows you to whatever that process is. And if I click on this, well, it'll take me to the high quality link from the IRS that backs up the statement that I'm trying to make. This is a non-negotiable when doing this. And the blog post is really high quality. We know that for the majority of SEOs or anybody in marketing, they love Claude for copywriting. And Claude 4 is no exception. It is I'm incredible at that. So if you go back to the resources that I gave you below, you have the blog writer prompt there. And again, you've got some highlighted actions in yellow and in green, yellow, you have to fill out. You're going to copy the whole thing. You're gonna start a brand new conversation. You're gonna paste the prompt in with a brand new conversation. And we need to input a couple of things, the target site, the long seed keywords. Well, let's use the same site here, Financial Advisor Pro. 
we're going to go back to the prompt here and paste that in there. You just gotta make sure that it's correct. And the long tail keyword, well, I know that they offer, I think 401 rollover into IRA. So maybe let's see 401 rollover to IRA how to guides. I'm guessing that's really important. And I'm going to go how to do. Perfect. And the city region, obviously this is in Arizona. Now, whilst it's writing that, let's go through the prompt that I provided to understand what is it actually doing? Because it's not just a simple, hey, take this and write it. No, this is providing a serious workflow because I know that Claude 4 with the access to the internet can take a step-by-step -step approach. We're getting it to crawl the target website first. This will understand whom it's writing for, which is really important. The wing, we're then going to research or have it research the topic, create an outline, and then compose a 3000 to 2000 word friendly blog post. You can change that if you want. This prompt is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Really importantly here though, don't change the hyperlinking rules. This is the backlinking component, both in making backing up your statements and also internally linking to other sections of your website. Really, really important for good SEO. So you can just copy in that paste, like copy and paste that like I just did. You can see that it's still doing some research here. And after a little while, you'll get a very, very high quality blog post. There's one thing that I wanna check here and see if it's actually internally linking to other parts of my website. And it's the section here that says complex role of a decision benefit from professional financial advice. If we click on that, ideally it's taking us to the about us page for this business. And it is perfect. I've got my internal linking done. Now, is this blog post ready to be published on that website? No. I would do the due diligence and maybe add some supporting illustrations or images or even a supporting YouTube video that you can embed in there. But 90% of the work is already done. What I would recommend is you then get Claude to come up with Facebook posts and Instagram posts about this topic and post them in as well. That's what SEO is becoming, not only search engine optimization, but search everything optimization. By the way, you can also automate this stuff. And when I say this stuff, when I say this stuff, I mean the automation from a publication of your blog post, turning that into LinkedIn posts, Pinterest posts, Facebook posts, and Instagram posts automatically, even with a brand new image for each one of those platforms. This is diversifying your content, spreading your digital footprint, really good for today's SEO in the AI search landscape. And if you don't like OpenAI's model, you can use Anthropic as well. If you're interested in learning how to do these types of automations that are gonna save you time and get you more leads and improve your SEO, you can join our premium community. I'll leave a link up here for you to check that out. You can try it out risk-free for seven days. Number three is a prompt that will understand your website and give you a lead magnet in the form of a web application. This is really important and extremely useful when it comes to generating leads. There's a couple of things that we're leveraging when you're using web applications. And don't worry, you don't need to know how to code. Claude is gonna do all of that for you. But the idea here is to create really simple calculators. For example, we created a 401k rollover decision calculator maker, but you need something that's gonna add a bit of value to the reader. And we're leveraging three things here. One, because of current AI overviews like this one here, everyone is naturally getting less traffic. So how do we combat this? Well, by creating these web applications like the type I just showed you here, or like this one on my website, where it's a Google search engine preview tool, the thing is that we're forcing the user to click through to our website to get the value added. Also, from Google's leaked documentation data last year, we know that Google's uses click data as a ranking metric. And by people playing around on a page for a little while and using it, as long as they're not rage clicking, this is positive signals we're sending to Google, another good thing. And finally, people that use web applications are a lot more likely to convert or submit their information. So by doing a little calculator like this and adding a call to action at the end, like get your custom 401k strategy, you are maximizing the conversions from the little traffic that you are getting, which we want to do that as much as we can. 
And when it comes to conversions, this goes to number four, which is a prompt that will turn Claude into a conversion rate optimization expert, providing you feedback on what design changes to make to your website to get more conversions. Let me give an example here of what I mean. Let's say I've got this website here and I want Claude to provide me with some advice on what design changes I could do to get more conversions. There's one little tool that I need for this and that is called the Go Full Page Chrome extension. This will take a complete screenshot of the entire page. Let me show you how it works. I click on this and it's gonna take a screenshot of the entire home page. All I need to do is upload the screenshot together with a prompt and the website URL to claw it, and it'll provide me some seriously good feedback. Let's take a look now. I'm gonna start a new conversation. I'm going to give it the screen capture or the entire screenshot of the website. I'm gonna go back to the prompts here and go to the conversion rate expert. I'm going to copy the entire thing go back to the Claude conversation that has the uh, screenshot. And there's one thing that I need to do is also provide it with the URL. This will give it more understanding of the actual website and its context. And the more data, usually the better the output. So you also want to give it the URL. Cool. Now we have a conversion rate optimization analysis for the website. Uh, it's given me some key issues. Let's see grammatical error to succeed should be to succeed. Yeah. Uh, value proposition, primary CTA, no clear primary call to action in the hero page. Let's just double verify that in the hero section. Yep, yeah, no call to action. That's something that we could change right away. And I promise you, if we do that change, we'll get more conversions. Uh, the current title tag is ethical home page training. The proposed one is dog anxiety and reactivity training, ethical dog training Australia. I can guarantee that if we make those design changes, we'll, we'll get more conversions and more revenue for that business. So do this today if you can. The final and probably one of my favorite prompts is turning Claude into a SEO analysis expert. It'll get your data from Google Search Console and provide you with incredible feedback and insights that you might not have thought of. I think this is the perfect blend of how to use AI correctly because we tend to get analysis paralysis when it comes to data, or at least I do. There's so much data coming in, but it's difficult to then turn that into actionable insights. And this does that in an incredible way. When we give it Google Search Console data, which I'll show you how to do it together with the prompt, which I'll show you what to get, it gives you this incredible feedback on what to do, the things to look at, things that you might have missed, potential opportunities, as well as some 90 day targets and what you should be doing. So we first need to go to your Google Search Console. You wanna to go to Search Results. And with that, you're gonna have this ability to export. I want you to click on the CSV download. You're gonna get a zip file. And if you unzip that, it's gonna come with, I think, five CSV files. That is all the files that you need. We're gonna start a brand new conversation. Unzip that file. We're gonna unzip that file and place all those CSVs in there before we hit enter, obviously. We need to get our prompt, which is the SEO data analyzer. All we gotta do is copy the whole thing. You'll see that there's no highlighted sections because you don't need to place anything else in there. And we are going to hit enter here. Now, as you saw before, it's going to analyze everything, understand the context and provide you with some phenomenal feedback into what you should be doing. Ideally, you wanna do this once a month, at least once every three months. That's why you gather the data in the first place to make data-driven decisions and why not get an incredibly smart model like Claude Ford to do that for you. Here, it's even understanding some seasonal patterns. So graphic cards, interests, peaks align with product launches, uh, long tail opportunity, Incredible, so really, really high actionable insights. Now that you have the prompts for Claude and know how to turn it into an SEO machine, what are the downfalls of it? And I think the main one is really the lack of messages. I seem to run out of messages and hit the limit every single day. And not at the end of the day, I mean, I run out by like 2 p.m. Now, admittedly, I probably use AI more than most people, but still it just ruins my workflow and I have to end up using another AI to continue my work. So if you are, somewhat of a quote unquote power user, keep that into consideration because I'm on the pro version and I'm running out every single day. I can get unlimited chats for $100 a month. To be honest, I think that's a little bit too steep 
considering that the second downfall of, I think, Claude for Sonnet is that you don't get access to an image model and you don't get access to any other models with any other capabilities like video generation models, which for around that price range of 100 to $240, with Gemini, you do get access to image models, incredible image models and video models. And the same thing with OpenAI, whether or not you like their image and video model is beside the point, but you get more for that. Whereas with Anthropic, admittedly, it is a little bit cheaper. They're high tier end subscription. I don't know if it's worth it. If you are an absolute diehard fan for Anthropic and you don't use image models that often, maybe it's the right thing for you. Personally, it's not quite good enough for me. I don't get me wrong, I love this model. And I think for 90% of the things I do, it does have an advantage in how smart it is. But for what I get, it's just not worth it. I'd rather use OpenAI's $20 and with a good prompt, I get very, very similar outputs. If you're interested in learning how to maximize all of these AI tools, whether it's ChatGPT, Claude, Anthropic, with automations to rank yourself number one, and getting you more organic traffic and leads and sales, consider joining our community. You can try it out risk-free for seven days, but we see incredible results even in the world of AI search engines today. And that is it. I hope you liked this video. If you really liked it and found value, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.